Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and today we have a first look at the Pixel 5 running Android 12. Well, kind of. Let me explain. So over the last couple of days, we have had a bunch of leaked screenshots of what is supposedly Android 12. So today we're going to be looking through what we have and try and figure out what's going on. Of course, if there's anything that I've missed or there's a function that you think will be in Android 12, let me know in the comments below. Also, keep in mind that Google dropped a super early look at Android 12 around this time last year, so it may be that these features are not too far off for us Pixel users. So first up, we have the home screen, and you will see a trend of all of these screenshots that the color palette isn't a light or dark theme, but seems to match the wallpaper and takes colors directly from it. Now, as you can see, we do have different widgets for different applications like Facebook and the phone, and each one is in its own widget on the home screen. Now, this may be an iOS inspired home screen where there are mainly widgets, or it may just be Android being Android. Now, with these ones, you can see that you've got a new conversation widget in Android 12, and this can be expanded to show more and all of the conversations. Now this will show what's going on and with what application. And this last screenshot looks to be some sort of setup or explanation screen of the new conversation feature. Now again, note how it all follows the colors on the wallpaper. Now hopefully this is just an option because imagine having a really colorful wallpaper and then all of your conversations and settings have matching colors. You may just want the cleaner look of the light and dark themes that are on offer at the moment. Now it also looks like that either Google is changing the stock icons to also be themed or it's allowing finally for third party icon packs in the stock launcher which is something that I've been wanting for a very long time and coming from the OnePlus launcher where this was an everyday occurrence for me it would be really nice to see on stock Android. Next up we have some new privacy settings again looking like it takes inspiration from iOS. Now, I'm starting to see a slight theme here, but before you start writing that Android had it first in the comments, I mean that in a good way. Now, first up, you have a new drop down for when an app wants to use the camera or the microphone, and a setting for more in depth options, which is great to see. This is going to be a bit like the options that we've got now, where you can use the camera once or all the time, or just when the app is open, and it can also be location based as well. And then when you're in one of those apps and you are using either the camera or the microphone, it has a new colored indicator in the top right to show that the camera or mic is in use. Now it also looks like the color theme will also go over to the camera app, which again may be a good or bad thing. The actual settings and camera layout though looks pretty similar to what we've got currently on Android 11. Now these privacy settings are really good to see because there are some applications that you go into and you don't even know that it's using the microphone or a camera app that you go into and it's a little bit dodgy from time to time so to be able to see exactly when these things are being used is great for privacy. And then the last screenshot we had was the notification pull down. Now this is a new look and it looks really good. It keeps the separation of Android 11 with the conversations and other notifications and the time and other indicators have been moved slightly and the quick settings look very simple. Now I'm hoping you can have more than four though. Currently you can have six and then you can expand it. However, with this newer version, it looks like there's only four and the icons are a little bit larger. So hopefully there's a little bit of customization around that as well. But apart from that, the actual notification shade looks pretty similar to what we're currently used to. And again, it's more about the color and theming options going over to pretty much every part of the device. And that's kind of it for this video and our quick look at what is supposedly Android 12. Now, like I said, we may get our hands on as early as next week if Android 11 was anything to go by, and I was sure to cover it here on the channel, so make sure you're subscribed to see that content moving forward. But let me know in the comments what you think. Are you a fan of the theme flowing over to everything? And how do you like the new widgets and home screen look and just enjoying the overall look and feel of Android 12 based on these screenshots? Now, don't get me wrong, this may not be exactly how Android 12 looks. This actually came out in some leaked development paperwork and things and the screenshots were attached. So yes, they may still be tweaking things here and there, but I'm pretty sure this is what it's going to look like moving forward. And I don't really mind, it looks pretty good. Yes, there are some things that are gonna take some getting used to, but at least we are getting more of a visual overhaul with Android now. More recently, it's more been about sort of the features and things. So to actually have it change and look slightly different is something a bit new and I'm actually into it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give a thumbs up down below. And again, if you've got any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do so. I'm going to have some Android 12 content as soon as it's available. So once you've hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I post a video here on the channel. 
I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.